Whew. Here we are, about to take the alternator off the Thwaites dump truck. Now this is the old old mirror that come off. It's not quite seized up but not very far from it. The wires weren't connected at all, though you can see how rusty they are. They're in the right old state. The old thing is generally to the best of my knowledge that is an A127. one of these Chinese knockoff alternators that I put on. This is August 2022 during a heat wave. Um, this video is by way of a demonstration what you can do when you're working on a dump truck when you cannot get the alternator to work. Um, I'm not sure that every mechanic has this in their toolbox but uh, it's very useful for me. Ta -da! I cannot make it work. I sent it back and they sent me another one and they tested the first one. There was nothing wrong with the first one. So there must be something wrong with the wiring somewhere. So I've just isolated the alternator off and run the wires directly to the battery. Um, the only existing wire I've got is the one that goes to the ignition light on the dashboard. It's not quite a dashboard, it's a slight exaggeration. There's one light and a key. Um, by the way, I've fitted a nice shiny new seat to it. Let me show you, it's a suspension seat. Look at this. <laughs> ah. I've had some poxy fun and games with this thing. Um, brand new battery. So now I'm down to <laughs> scratching around for ideas. So what I've done is, forgive these, but they're the right weight. I've run this one from the back of the alternator, direct to the battery, bypass the whole dump truck and an earth from the body to there. I've then run the um, from the field wire, I think it's called the field wire, on the back of the alternator to there. Now, normally speaking that goes on, you can see that lights it up. sure if you can see it or not but I was getting it earlier I was getting a reading of uh, 14 volts across there when I revved it I think it's got an injector going so it's a bit smoky ignore all that that'll be the next problem I'm coming to anyway this seems to have resolved where the issue is so I'm hoping I can take all these extra wires off now um, and just mess around and rewire that in somehow